Hello everyone and welcome back. Till today we have seen a lot of features about Unity Catalog. Before we can go ahead and discuss about EIBI dashboard, today I am going to show you one more feature which is Lakehouse Federation. Now, Lakehouse Federation in Databricks is actually a query federation platform which allows you to query external data from Databricks without actually migrating the data within the Lakehouse. Now, consider you have a Postgres database in AWS and you want to query that data from Databricks without actually bringing that data within the Lakehouse. You can go ahead and use Lakehouse Federation for that. It would allow you to create a connection and a foreign catalog which you can go ahead and use to query your data from the external system. On top of it, you can go ahead and use Unity Catalog Governance and Lineage on your external data. Today, we are going to query an external Postgres system using this Lakehouse Federation. We are going to see all of this with demo. Now, before we can start with this video, if you have not seen our previous video, go ahead and watch those first. So, without any further delay, let's begin. Now, on my screen, you can see a Postgres database which I have connected using dbweaver. Now, this Postgres database has two tables, department and employee. And we are going to query these two tables from our Databricks using Lakehouse Federation today. For this, I've already created a user which we would use in order to connect with this database from Databricks. Okay. Now, let me show you the data for these two tables. So, this is the department table. Let me just double click and you can go ahead and see the data for this table, right? Similarly, if I click on employee table, you can go ahead and see the data for employees. Now, both of the table contains a common column which is department ID, which can be used to join two of these data sets. And we are going to run this query from Databricks today in order to see the output of it. Now, I am connected with my Databricks workspace. Now, if I click on this plus button and if I click on this create a catalog, if I click on this type, you can see three options. We are already using standard for all of our use cases in Unity Catalog. Now, we have already created this shared catalog when we created our delta sharing catalog. Now, today we are going to see this foreign catalog. Okay. Now, this foreign catalog requires a connection. So, the first step for query federation is to create a connection to that external database. Okay. So, let me just click on this cross now. And what I'll do is I'll click on this external data. Now, in order to create external connection, you need permission for that. And if you don't see this option, it means you need to connect with your Metastore admin in order to get that permission. So let me just go ahead and click on this external data. And if you see the third tab here, which is connections, if I click on this right now, I don't have any connection created. In order to create a connection, I'll just go ahead and click on create connection. Now, I need to fill out some basics. For example, I need to give a connection name. So I'll just type PG. SQL AWS as the name of my connection. Okay. The next is connection type. So if I click on this drop down, you see a lot of options that you can go ahead and federate. For example, you can connect MySQL, you can connect Oracle, even you can connect PostgreSQL. Okay. So I'll just select PostgreSQL from here. I'll leave the comment as blank and I'll click on next. As soon as I do that, it asks me some information like host, port, user, and password. Okay. So I'll just paste the host name here. And the next is port. So this is the default port for Postgres. I'll let it be. And then I'll put the username that I'll use to connect with my Postgres database. Okay. And next is the password. Next, I'll click on create connection. Next, I need to provide the name of the foreign catalog that would get created with this connection. Okay. By default, it has provided me PG SQL AWS catalog. So I'll let it be. The next is the name of database that I want to connect. So the name of the database is demo. Okay. And then I just need to click on this test connection. So it would validate the connection to that Postgres database. Okay. So I'll just click on test connection. For this, I need to provide it a compute. Now you can use SQL Warehouse Pro, SQL Warehouse Serverless, and Databricks Classic Computes in order to use Lakehouse Federation because those are preloaded with the drivers that are required to connect with those databases. Okay. So I already have a SQL Warehouse that I have created with serverless. So I'll just click on this start button. So it would start that serverless warehouse. Great. You can see my serverless warehouse is ready. I'll just click on test. Awesome. You can see it says connection established. So we are able to connect with that Postgres database using our SQL warehouse serverless. Okay. So I'll just click on close now. And next I'll click on create catalog. Now the next is to provide permissions and access. So you can see by default, all workspace has access. So I'll let it be. Okay. And then is the owner. So right now I am the owner. If I want to change the owner to someone else, I can do it here. Okay. Similarly, you can go ahead and provide permissions to different users and groups from here. For now, I'll let it be default. I'll just click on next. 
and now you can provide some metadata information like key values i'll do nothing here i'll just click on save awesome as soon as i do that you can go ahead and see a catalog created called pg aws catalog okay now you can see the public schema here if i expand this from here you can see the department and employee tables available okay so let me just go ahead and click on this department here it gives you the data source as postgres sql okay and if i click on this detail here you can see the type of table is foreign okay so if i click on this catalog right now you can see this type of catalog is foreign okay so now you know you need to create a connection and a foreign catalog in order to use query federation okay so let's go ahead and see the data so what we'll do is i'll expand this i'll click on department again i'll click on sample data okay so now it will use the warehouse which is our sql warehouse server list in order to connect and fetch the data and that you can see here right you can see the data here and this was the same data that we had in our db work that i have shown you previously correct similarly you can see the employee data as well so if i click on this you can see the data source is postgresql if i click on sample data you can go ahead and see the sample data here right so let's go ahead and write some query on this so what i'll do is i'll quickly open sql editor I'll click on SQL query. So now I'll connect this with my warehouse, which is warehouse here. I'll just expand the catalog from the left hand side. And now you can see the foreign catalog here, right? And now we are going to join both department and employee. And we are going to see how many employees are present in each of the department. Okay. So for that, what I'll do is I'll quickly expand this. Great. We have both the tables here. Let me just write select star from and i'll just click on here employees okay i'll just alias this as e and then i'll do a left outer join with department so i'll just click on this arrow again and i'll alias this as d and then i'll write the join condition which is e dot department id you can see it is auto populating equals to d dot and we can write department id okay and i'll just type group by d dot department id okay and we can bring in department name so i'll just type d dot department name and i'll just type count of one okay and i'll just write it as emp count okay so let me just change this group by to department name itself so i'll do a group by by department name okay so our query is ready let's go and run our first federated query to an external system so i'll just click on this now Awesome. Our SQL query ran successfully on our SQL warehouse and we can see the department name and the employee count from each of the department. Okay. Now you can go ahead and create multiple catalogs from the same connection. Okay. So if I go to catalog here and if I click on this plus button, if I click on create a catalog, you can even create another foreign catalog from the same. So let me just write post grace two. Okay. And I can go ahead and select the same connection in order to create one more foreign catalog. Okay. So you can go ahead and select different connections and you can go ahead and create different type of foreign catalogs in Unity catalog. Okay. Now you can go ahead and provide user permissions on the same catalog. So if you click on this catalog, you can go to permissions and from here you can go ahead and control user and group permissions. Okay. So your governance still works on this. Okay. Now if I go ahead and expand this on the left hand side and if I click on any table, you can see a lineage option here. So even you can go ahead and see the lineage of external data. For now, we don't have any other tables created from this particular external table. But if you create other tables using this external data, you can use lineage in order to drill down and go back to the external sources from where this particular tables were created. Okay. So if I click on queries, because we have just created a query, right? So you can see the query here, which is showing you that this department was used in this query. Okay. So now you know how you can go ahead and use Lakehouse Federation in order to query external data. Okay. Now, before I wrap up, one more point to note. Since we have used UI in order to create connection and catalog, right? You can go ahead and use SQL queries as well. So if I go back to the documentation and if I scroll down, you can go ahead and write SQL queries in order to create connection. So for example, if you see this, create connection, the name of the connection and type is Postgres SQL. And then you need to provide the host name, port, user and password. Even for user and password, you can go ahead and use secrets. Okay. So we already know that we can go ahead and store our secrets in Databricks scopes or AKV scopes, right? So you can go ahead and use those scopes in order to bring in the secret and create the connection. 
once the connection is created, you can go ahead and create a foreign catalog. So to do that, if you scroll down, you can see the query here, create foreign catalog, the name of the catalog using the connection name and the database name. So now you know how you can go ahead and create connection and foreign catalogs using SQL queries as well. So I hope you have learned how you can query external systems from Databricks without actually bringing in the data within the lake house. So in our next video, we are going to discuss about AI BI dashboards. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and keep sharing.